Hey guys, thanks again for joining me and watching another episode of Home Kit Sweet Home. As you can see, I am in the garage today because today's project is in the garage. And my goal today is to make this thing obsolete. This one happens to be from LiftMaster, and I know you recognize it. It's your garage door opener. So what you do is you press the button to open the garage. And you press it again to close it. So we're gonna get rid of this thing today. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm going to make my garage door opener home kit compatible. So since we moved in here, I had always wanted a smart garage door opener. One that I could control with my smartphone and even better if I could control it with Siri. And the best way to do that is have a home kit compatible garage door opener, which really weren't available when we first moved in. But that has since changed last year. Chamberlain and LiftMaster um, finally released HomeKit compatible bridges for their garage door openers to make them HomeKit compatible. And with that, I searched online, looked at a few of the MyQ um, garage door openers. They were a little expensive and the existing garage door opener worked really well. So wouldn't it be great if I could convert my existing garage door opener to a HomeKit compatible one? And I'm happy to say that I can, and I can with these two accessories. And the first one is the LiftMaster 888LM, the MyQ controller. And the second one is the Chamberlain MyQ home bridge. So these things together are gonna to make my older garage door opener HomeKit compatible, and it will enable it to be able to be controlled through Siri, so I could ask Siri, hey, open up the garage doors and she'll be able to do it. So I'm excited with today's project, and so let's just go ahead and get to it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the LiftMaster MyQ control panel first. So this is model 888LM and it, what it does is it takes your existing garage door opener manufactured in 1998 and afterwards compatible with MyQ. And I checked my garage door opener and it was manufactured in 2005, late 2005. and the other thing is it needs to have a red, orange, or purple learn button, and I, I believe mine has a red learn button. So once I confirmed that my garage door opener was compatible with this, um, I chose to take this route to get my garage door home kit compatible. And the second part is the Chamberlain MyQ home bridge. And what this does is this links with the controller and enables you to um, control your garage door opener through HomeKit and the Home app and obviously um, with that comes Siri voice control. So let's go ahead and unbox the LiftMaster MyQ control panel 888LM first. And the back says upgrades LiftMaster garage door openers manufactured since 1998 to the new Security Plus 2.0 and MyQ radio systems. Improves remote control range and adds MyQ technology to allow monitoring and operation of the garage door opener from anywhere via a smartphone. So what's great about that is not only will it open and close your garage with HomeKit, but you'll also be able to see if your garage door is open or closed. So let's go ahead and open up and see what it comes with. Inside the box. We have the controller itself and a booklet of instructions. Self-explanatory and quick, you take the red wire, connect it to the red, and the white wire connect to the white. So look, sounds simple enough. Let's 
take a look at the controller itself. And this is the MyQ controller. Also comes with some mounting screws, it seems. And this is it. And this, this itself has a lot of functionality. Um, up here is, you'll see the learn button uh, on and off for timer. Um, it has minutes to close the door so you can program it on, on its own. You can program it to, to close the door one minute after it opens, five minutes or 10 minutes. And then I believe the hold open is to bypass the, these timed minutes to close. And it also has a sensor for the light that is um, built into the garage door opener. And on the back, it there's the red and there's the white. So that's where you connect the wires. So pretty straightforward. It's just a controller for the garage door to make it compatible with this. And this is the MyQ Home Bridge. Chamberlain MyQ Home Bridge. So this is what a lot of people are waiting for. This is pretty much what's going to make the garage door opener home kit compatible and I believe LiftMaster has the exact same thing um, and they're interchangeable so let's open this up and it says congratulations your garage door opener is now home kit compatible so if we move this top part Right away we see the home bridge itself, Chamberlain MyQ home bridge. And on the back it even has the home kit code. And that is the home bridge itself. What else do we have in the box? Here, this part. Uh, right here we have um, here we have the MyQ home bridge quick start guide and again there's the home kit code underneath there we have additional literature there's the warranty and a warning sticker so that is the literature and underneath, we have mounting screws, a mounting plate, and the AC cord, the power cord. So that is everything that comes with the, the Chamberlain MyQ home bridge to make it HomeKit compatible. These are the two main pieces we're gonna need. So let's go ahead and take these, install them, and ask Siri to open up our garage door. So before we get started with the actual install, I want to show you how to find out if your older garage door opener is compatible. So we need to take off the cover and look for the learn button. We need a red, orange, or purple one, and I have a red one. And the date of manufacture for mine is November 2005, which is after 1998. So the first thing we need to do is uninstall this existing button that controls the garage door and replace it with the LiftMaster 888LM. And I've already turned off the power going to this and I can test it by clicking the button. So it says the yellow command LED and the red learn LED will blink quickly for up to five minutes as the control panel recharges. 
When the control panel is operational, the yellow command LED will glow steadily. So the yellow command LED is lit and it is a steady light. So let's go ahead and see if this opens up the garage. it works so next thing we need to do is set up the MyQ home bridge let's go ahead and do that so now it's time to set up the Chamberlain MyQ home bridge and I'm gonna set it up here next to my uh, Wi-Fi router it says you can mount it in the garage the instructions do tell you to mount it in the garage um, where you can get power but everything I've looked at online says you can keep it anywhere as long as your Wi-Fi to the garage is strong and I have pretty good signal in the garage. Um, so I'll probably just leave it here, actually. Just leave it somewhere inside the house. Probably just leave it here. So we'll go ahead and I already ran the power cable through the hole where I have a lot of um, Ethernet and Internet wires coming through. So as soon as I plug it in, I should get the blue light and it's telling me that that should mean that this home bridge is discoverable on my network. So the complete setup of the Chamberlain MyQ home bridge, I'm going to go to the home app on the iPhone and I'm going to hit the upper right plus and hit add accessories. So it says use the HomeKit setup code and I'm going to take the HomeKit setup code off the literature that came with it. The HomeKit code is also on the bottom of the, the, the bridge and there it is. It says select an accessory to add to HomeKit. I'm going to go ahead and click that and now it says connecting. Make sure it stays connected to power and nearby. So there it is, it's called MyQC11. Let me go ahead and change the name. Just call it MyQ Homebridge. And room will pick garage. There's the garage. And click next. This is identify accessory. Additional setup required. Add related accessories with MyQ Homebridge in the manufacturer's app. So we'll click next and I have already installed the Chamberlain app. And there it says add device. So it's searching. So what we have to do, it'll continue searching. Um, so we'll need to go to the garage and press the learn button on the controller, the 888LM controller that we just installed. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we are in the garage again at the 888LM MyQ garage door opener. And we're going to go ahead and go into the Chamberlain app again. And hit add device. Then we're going to add new hub. Here. Click add new hub. And then it says to enter my Q serial number, which is on um, the literature. And I'll type that in now. Next, looking for networks, this may take a minute. So enter a name for your new hub. And I'll just call it the My Q Home Bridge. It's 
submit. And the device I want to add is the garage door opener. And here we go. So it says welcome to garage door opener and locate its learn button. And it is right there. Learn. Hit next. So press twice. Says waiting for device. And it's a success. Identify garage door opener, enter a name for your new device. We'll just leave it at garage door and put it in the garage and click submit. And it says my key home bridge to garage door is closed for 11 seconds. So let's go ahead and go back to the home app. You can see there's the garage door. It is closed. Let's go ahead and click it. it says Then we'll close it. So let's go ahead and try that with Siri. Hey Siri, open the garage door. So hey guys, there you have it. A uh, home kit controlled garage door. And I'm almost home, so I'm gonna ask Siri to open my garage. Hey Siri, open the garage door. like magic. Hey Siri, close the garage door. Hey, before you guys take off, I would appreciate it if you could do me a couple favors. Hit that like button if you thought any of this was useful. And please, please subscribe. With the recent changes to YouTube, you'll be doing me a huge favor to subscribe. So please mash that subscribe button.